In today's video, we're going to be talking about tramadol. We're going to be talking about its uses, pharmacology, side effects and dosage. So tramadol is a synthetic opioid analgesic, which means it's a pain relieving medication and it has opioid like properties. It's commonly prescribed to treat moderate to moderately severe pain, so we're going to talk about its mechanism of action first. So tramadol's analgesic effects are mainly attributed to its actions on two mechanisms, opioid receptor binding and the inhibition of serotonin and norepinephrine reuptake. So in terms of opioid receptor binding, tramadol acts as a weak MU opioid receptor agonist which means it binds to the MU opioid receptor in the central nervous system, producing pain relief by reducing the perception of pain signals and altering the brain's response to pain. Now, in terms of the serotonin and norepinephrine reuptake inhibition, tramadol inhibits the reuptake of serotonin and norepinephrine, which are neurotransmitters involved in mood regulation and pain perception. This dual mechanism enhances its pain relieving effects. Now its uses, it's commonly prescribed to manage various types of pain, including post-operative pain, dental pain, chronic pain conditions like arthritis or fibromyalgia, back pain and nerve pain. The route of administration of tramadol, it's available in various forms, including oral tablets, extended release tablets and oral capsules. Tramadol and its absorption, it's well absorbed after oral administration, with peak plasma concentrations reached within one to two hours. In terms of metabolism, tramadol undergoes hepatic metabolism through the CYP2D6 enzyme pathway to form its active metabolite O-desmethyl tramadol M1, which contributes to its analgesic effects. In terms of the elimination, the drug and its metabolites are primarily excreted in the urine. Now, side effects of tramadol, it can cause several side effects ranging from mild to severe. Common side effects include nausea and vomiting, dizziness or lightheadedness, constipation, dry mouth, headache, sweating and fatigue. More severe side effects can include seizures, especially at higher doses, serotonin syndrome, which is rare but it's possible when combined with other serotonergic drugs, respiratory depression, particularly when used in high doses or combined with other central nervous system depressants. It's essential to follow the prescribed dosage and inform your doctor about any other medications you're taking to reduce the risk of any adverse interactions. Now, in terms of dosage, tramadol dosage may vary based on the severity of pain, the patient's age, and their response to the medication. The usual adult dosage is typically 50 to 100 milligrams every four to six hours as needed for pain relief. For the extended release formulation, doses are usually 100 milligrams once daily and it can be adjusted as necessary. It's crucial to follow the doctor's instructions regarding dosage and not to exceed the prescribed amount to avoid potential side effects and dependence on the drug. So we've made it to the end of the video. If you've made it all the way to the end, leave a 100 emoji. If you have any questions about tramadol, leave them in the comment section below. Make sure you like, comment and subscribe and thank you very much for watching.